Hey anyway, guys, Fat Daddy again. Here's my newest venture. This is my woodshed. I used to do wood in here. Now, I'll show you what. Now I've got shit stored in the middle. And a cement mixer and some shit like that. And then on the end, I've got my pellets put aside for the winter. So there's four tons of pellets in there right now. But I took one bay and I just framed it in real quick. And put a screen door in, a couple of halves. Man, look what I've done here. So what I've done here is I've gotten some rabbits. See the hutches? I got uh, this one is 18 inches high, um, 24 inches wide, 30 inches long. So it's 18, 18 by 18. No, 18 by 24 by 30 is the length of these cages. There's two cages there. These are both doughs. Now there's a dough there. With my black dough. These are New Zealands. Um, they're not like exceptionally friendly, but they'll, they'll tolerate you. She's a good, good, good girl. I've never seen a, a rabbit that can eat like this thing here. This girl's eating constantly. This one here. She just got bred, so she just, she's due in about three and a half weeks. We just bred her last week. She's a little more skittish, but she's still a good girl. So, these are New, these are New Zealands. And then here's the New Zealand buck. He's got a pepper, he's half eaten. Um, again, he's a good boy. They're, they're decent animals, um, but these are going to be my meat rabbits. So I'm raising these to harvest for meat. So what I did in here was I insulated the entire um, the ceiling on all the walls have been insulated with this insulation. It's like two inch uh, styro insulation. I had this cut out because I have a, a watering system that I had originally set up that fit in here. I'm gonna put this piece back in um, and tape it up just because we went with water bottles instead. Uh, it was easier. So what I'll do in the, the uh, couple of weeks is I will put plastic on the inside here and on the outside. So two, two layers, one on either side. Um, leave this as a dead air space in the middle and so light can still get in. I'll put plastic up on the inside and the outside of the door and where we have this little fan I don't know if you can even see it, it's so dark um, we have this little fan here um, I'm going to take that out you see it's wired, I got wiring goes in underground, comes up my switch up through to a fan hold my light alright I got a plug in there and then what we'll do shut that off uh, is I will um, I will uh, take this and actually heat this cage, this whole entire room in the winter. I'll plug a heater in and stick a heater in here, and I will heat this area. Look, she's she's chowing down on that apple. What happened to my light here? It's almost like it went really dark. Um, but, and then I got a grow out cage here. Oh, there we go. Now I'm figuring it out. Okay. All right, see that? All right, so she's mowing down on an apple. Um, but, so I got the two those cages. Like I said, they're 18 by 24 by 30. This one's 18 by 24 by 30 for the buck. And then I got a four foot 
by 24 by 18 grow out cage, the double cage. It is a, a door here and then a divider and then another door here. So what I'm going to do is when we have a litter, I can put them in, grow them out here. Once that's, uh, if, I, if I have more than I need, then we'll actually just grow them right on the floor. You see, I put, you see down here, I put, uh, I had some wire shelving that I taken out of the greenhouse when I dug it all apart. And I cut it and buried it in the ground to keep the animals from digging in because they were trying to tunnel in here. Um, and we'll just use the whole entire floor as a grow out area. And if I can't fit them in these, these uh, grow out cages, I'll use the whole floor. I'll use the whole entire place as a grow out area. Okay? That's a good size spot. So, oh, and I put up this today. Um, it's just a piece of Luon thin ply, you know, eighth inch. The problem I was having was when they were going to the bathroom, it was filling up this cage below. And I don't have anything in it right now, so it wasn't a big deal. But I cleaned in here today, washed the cages, took them down, washed the cages, and lowered them. I had the cages up higher. They were up to here. And then fastened onto the other cage, and it was just getting filled with shit. So I put this on so that anything should roll right down and off of them. Anybody in the, 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 the bottom. And I got some little apples that drop some shit that we picked up off the ground that I feed to them. So, that's it. That's the meat rabbit update. And like I said, this one here, I should have uh, should have a, a litter of kits in the next uh, three weeks or four weeks. So, I'll keep you posted. All right. Talk to you. Bye.